So I'm working on problem set three, number two. In this problem, we are asked to create a graph of 19 hummingbird weights and then to find the typical value or the typical weight of a hummingbird using either mean or median and explaining why we chose that measure of center. So what I first am going to do is create the actual graph. So I have my data up here, and then below it, I have the data rearranged in order from least to greatest. So our values are four ounces, five, seven, eight, eight, nine, 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 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 11, 11, 11. So that's a total of the 19 hummingbird different weights. Now, on my graph here, I have my x-axis, which I'm going to label hummingbird weight. And then I have my, in ounces, by the way. And then I'm going to have my y-axis be the number of hummingbirds in each weight. So it's just gonna say number of birds. Okay, now I'm going to create a histograph. So in order to do that, I am going to count how many uh, hummingbirds are each of these weights. So for example, I have one hummingbird with the weight of four ounces. So I'm gonna go to my four bin over here and then I'm going to color up to one hummingbird. Now for the next one, I have one five ounce hummingbird. So I go down here up to one, color in. Now let's go to 11. So I have three values that are all 11. So that means three hummingbirds that are 11 ounces. So I go to 11, I go up three, and I make that. And so I'm gonna to continue to do this for the rest of the columns. Now, We've created the graph of our hummingbird weight distribution. Now we need to determine whether we should use mean or median to measure our typical bird weight. Now, median is a measure of center where you don't look at the values of the data points. You specifically are looking at how many points you have if you order them from greatest to least or least to greatest, you're going to find the middle data point, not value, but you're specifically looking for their points. So to do so for this example, we would start at the ends and work our way in. So this one and this one and keep going. So there are 19 values and so the center value is going to be the number that is between all of the data, which is going to be 10. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So our median is 10. Now, because we weren't looking at the actual values of each piece of data, this method of finding center isn't affected if the data has any sort of outrageous values or has any skewness. It's going to stay the same because we're not putting any more emphasis on some points than others or we're not giving more power to some points than others. But for mean, to find the mean of data, you are finding the shared data. So if you had a data set and you wanted to find the mean value, it would be 
the value if you shared all of the all of the values of the data points so in this case if we shared all of the ounces the middle or the mean of that would be all of the ounces divided by the number or the total number of um, of hummingbirds we have so you're sharing these data values so if you had a hummingbird that was extreme in weight your average or your mean would be shifted out towards that value because we're looking at the value of the point instead of the just the fact that it is one data point because of this aspect and because of the way you find mean we know that mean is susceptible to skewness so that means if our data has any kind of outrageous values or isn't you know isn't symmetrical then our mean is going to be pulled in one way or the other so if we had a graph that was skewed to the left the mean would be pulled out towards that tail end and if it was skewed to the right the mean would be pulled out towards that tail end so with that in mind, we can look at our data set here, and if you would draw the general shape of this, um, of this data, it would look something like this. So, if you can see that in green, the data is sort of peaks once and then has a short tail to the right, but a long tail right here. So that indicates that this data set is skewed. And because the data set is skewed, and because means are easily manipulated by data that is skewed, we would want to use the median of 10 for this data set because that measure of center isn't affected by these little values out here, by the four ounce and the five ounce birds because it's not, again, putting any power to the values of the data. It's just looking specifically at these are my data points. If I cut them in half and look at what's in the center, that's my median. It doesn't have anything to do with what that value is. It doesn't have any effect when data is skewed. Thank you.